Ndiyo safi. Sorry? 2022. Oh, utasimama 2022. Ah, yeah. uh, the lady here, my sister. You stood for office. Community office. Community office. Okay, uchaguzi wote bas. Nani ameshasimama uchaguzi wote? Ah, excellent. Nani wana mpango wa kusimama uchaguzi wa 2022? Excellent. Hebu tuone. Ah. We need more numbers. Bwana sia si kasi. I think NYC tutaangalia mambo yenu. Na nile naweza kusema nini? Ingekuwa ni bora vijana wengi kujihusisha katika harakati za uongozi. Iwe kupitia katika mikakati zinayokuwa na serikali ama kupitia uchaguzi mkuu kwa sababu the, our future will be what we want it to be na for you to do that i'll give you very quick tips just in fact is one tip one what you have to do is that you must declare two you must know who your voters are you must know what know who your voters are isn't it yeah. you must know where they are You must know what? Know where they are. But most importantly, make sure they turn out on that election day. You must come to that. Na kile ni wakati tunakuja tena niona kuna maendeleo tofauti tofauti. Na tunaka inaonekana kana kwamba devolution inafanya kazi. Na lazima tushukuru na lazima tuendelee kuzingatia opportunities ambazo devolution inaleta ipoze nje yetu tuweze kusonga mbele. Nimesoma hapa kwa sababu mbili. Sababu ya kwanza ni kwa sababu ya ile youth fund, youth enterprise fund. Mimi ni director pale. Na nilikuwa nikisikiza yani zile changamoto ambazo vijana wameweza kutuambia hapa. Wamekuzia jambo hilo la youth enterprise fund jambo la pili nasimama hapo kwa sababu ya uchaguzi ninapokutembea katika nchi hii kila mahali ninapoenda jambo watu nitambua zaidi kwa sababu ya nini kwa sababu ya IBC uchaguzi na saba zama nini mambo mengi ya lakini najua tutakapokuwa hivi eh interact tunaweza kupata kwamba kuna mambo mengi tunaweza kufanya pamoja but I'll, let me say something about the nations a little bit 2022 is 11 months away and i know that the country is gearing towards the election but the future of this country or the success of the future of this country depends on the decisions we want to make come on the start of 2022 but for young people that's going to be more even more important to you than anything else today you're a young person but 20 years from now you will be now in charge of this country what type of country do you want to hand over to yourself so the challenge that has been posed here is for you to be able to take up the leadership challenge question how many of you have ever stood for office nani mshasimama kura kuchaguliwa mshasimama au viongozi walichaguliwa ndio eh nani mshasimama one eh eh ibc hebu tuone ulishinda ulishindwa Uli na nayo eh? 